Hey everybody, welcome back. This is part six of working with numbers in the operators and methods unit. We're going to talk about modulo. Now, you may not have seen modulo before, but modulo is essentially going to give us the remainder when you divide one number by another. So let's have a look at an example without any real context to it. And clear this because this is like the fifth time we tried to record this uh, modulo section. Um, so if we run this, I'm going to see that the remainder is 1. And essentially what that means is that when we divide 11 by 2, we get 5 remainder 1. And that's what modulo gives us, is that 1. So if we think about this, let's consider a case where we have a certain number of socks, and we know that we're going to give two socks to each person. Now we don't worry about how many people there are, but we worry about if we're going to have any socks left over. So if we run this, we're going to see that we're going to have one sock left over because each person gets two, then we go down all the way until there's only one left. Now, uh, it's actually a, a property of modulo that if you do 11 modulo 2 or any number modulo 2, it's always going to be 0 or 1. If it's 2, then we could divide 2 into the number again. If it's 0, we can't. 1, we can't. If it's 2 again, we get back to the original situation. For now, don't really worry about modulo, except for the idea that it's going to come in very useful for a very specific use case. As like a teaser, uh, deciding if a number is even or odd is very simple using the modulus operator. But for now, let's work through a challenge that tests whether we can use it just in general. So we're going to complete a function that takes in two number parameters, num1 and num2, and returns the remainder after dividing num1 by num2. Your function should create a variable and assign it to the remainder after dividing num1 by num2 using the modulo operator, then return that variable. Below is an example of the code running, assuming that you will have completed the described function get remainder. So let's grab our, excuse me, grab our stub, put it in, grab our test case, and if you think about it, 21 divided by 6 is going to be 3 with a remainder of 3. So Let's just follow the pseudocode as we've been doing. We'll say result is equal to num1 modulo 2. Sorry, num2. Because this is going to be the remainder after dividing num1 by num2. We'll then uh, find the keys, right? And then we'll say return result. If we get 3, we're in initially good shape. We'll go ahead and copy this, put it back in the input window, submit it, and find out what kind of shape we are in. We are in excellent shape. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.